Hey y'all, it's Veronica, your friendly neighborhood Tupperware lady. Um, I'm getting ready to get my cranberry sauce ready for Christmas, and this year we'll be doing it in the microwave pressure cooker. This is uh, amazing. It has, oh, I've got it locked. No wonder I can't open it. It has three safety features. This locks into the base. There's your uh, release valve. It goes up when it comes up to pressure and gradually goes down when it's done. And here's another little steam valve right here. These stay in it. And this just screws on to lock just like that. All right. This is really easy. It's got three ingredients in it. First of all, we have three cups of sugar. Get my sugar out of my modular mate. There's one. Two, three, four, five, and six. That makes three cups because those were half cup measuring cups. Get rid of the sugar. And we also have two 12 ounce packages of cranberries that I have in my fridge smart container. I put it on the berry setting, which is in the middle, which is too blurry to show. But anyway, here's the uh, cranberries. I'm gonna put them in there. Half a cup of water. And we're going to use our zest and press. It's old school, but I'm gonna zest an orange. Ow, sorta. And then I'm gonna squeeze it. I'm gonna have that zest in there. Here's another easier way to do it would be like this. It's a little wet from where I washed it. See all that zest in there? I'm trying to hurry. When you're zesting, you don't want to get into the, I think it's called pith or something. You don't want to get into that light orange stuff. Get right here. Ooh, there's more. see there's the zest in there and we also want the juice utility knife and I'm going to use my juicer even though it's not made for big fruit a little odd but you can actually take it and put it in in quarters it doesn't do as good as if you had a smaller orange but see all that juice coming out of there we've got several pieces here and I'm gonna zest and I'll be right back okay so I realized I didn't show you how to do this um, your fruit goes in what you would consider to be upside down with the rind facing up. And all you do is just squeeze. It does take a little pressure to get it all out, but here we go. Here's what it looks like when you're done. And that is the juice of an orange and the zest. And I'm going to take my simple spoon and just stir it up so we can have that sugar not all in one clump and then I'm going to put it in the microwave for 12 minutes so it can get its uh, get up to pressure and I'm going to let the pressure release naturally and it's going to be done and I'll be back when it's done to show you what it looks like. I just wanted to take a few seconds to show you this. See this bubbling right there? 
Um, it came up to pressure in 10 minutes and it's releasing right now. So once that's done, we'll take the lid off and see what it looks like. Okay, so the uh, little valve is down. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn it where you can see it. I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna turn it that way. I'm gonna lift it off and it's gonna steam up for a minute. There's what the inside looks like. And it smells like cranberries. Hang on, I left my spoon. All right, and in here, we have cranberry, cranberries. This liquid in here will gel up. Uh, can't see. It will gel up after it cools. So I'm gonna let it cool before I put it in. My clearly elegant bowl. This is gonna be so pretty for Christmas. And that took a total, well, less than 30 minutes to make homemade cranberry sauce. So, hey, y'all have a great day and good night.